this first song is called June. Dracula. I always have to say that because I feel like some people think it's got some affiliation with Harry Potter and it's really not. <laughs> like a lot of my friends are like, oh yeah, is that one about Harry Potter? Yeah, I think it is. And I'm like, I've got to talk about it. Uh, yeah, so it's called Draco. <laughs>
Yeah. 
one's called Collision Course. I'm going to be releasing this soon, I'm really excited about it. I've been playing it for it seems like forever, but it's finally going to be out properly. I say it properly, but as proper as it can be. Let me know. 
and you get like two percent writing credit or something. Like that. Yeah, that might end up being quite a lot. Um. <laughs>
Pop yeah. Central. <laughs> doing all the dance moves. <laughs> so when you started doing music over then Atomic Kitten covers, uh, <laughs> like, did you write quite quickly or were you doing mainly covers? Um, not or? really actually, I did a lot of covers to start with, um, a lot of like, I used to just cover like Guns N' Roses and stuff like that, and yeah. just kind of the average teenage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still cover Guns N' Roses. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, just that kind of thing, and then, because uh, I, I did write, but I was a bit, I never really sung it to anyone. I didn't really play it to anyone other than myself until um, I think I was 18 or something like that, so it was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what generally inspires you to write a song? Um, murder, deceit, <laughs> hatred, <laughs> hellfire. All the happy things. <laughs> Not honestly anything really. I do I do kind of swear slowly and from the camera and um, but Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a massive dolphin. <laughs> I like it, I like it though, it's awesome. So um uh, when uh, what's the process you go through when you write your song? Do you come up with lyrics um, first or melody? Or? This is always a really a difficult one to answer because it's kind of I don't really have I mean I wish I had a way that I wrote songs but like um like I'll just kind of be Messing about like the other day, I was like, kind of messing about with like some, just some like, like, and then I'll get the melody from that, but it won't yeah. be actually a chord, it won't be like a structure, so it'll just be like bits. Yeah, yeah, and then it's the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's different each time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in terms songwriters, who inspires you the most and why? No, I was going to say Johnny Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> well, that that seems to be a common one. Uh, <laughs> John Byers, definitely. She's just so great. I think yeah. she's like one of the greatest women alive. She's amazing. Sorry, I'm um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, But also Led Zeppelin, I think. Like, Led Zeppelin oh, yeah. have the band that, that you know, I've got them on my arm. I love awesome. them that much. But, like, their third album is very acoustic. And that was kind of what because I always wanted to cover the Led Zeppelin I've never covered because I can't be Jimmy Page at all but because <laughs> that album's very acoustic I found myself being able to do that a bit more so it's kind of that's the folk influence I think yeah oh I don't want to hear you doing some Led Zeppelin <laughs> <laughs> maybe if we have some time at the end <laughs> all right out of the songs you've written which are you most proud of or why um the song I think it was the third one I played is called Fully um and I had um, a very sad breakup. I know. What was he thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was, I was very, 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 very sad, and I was thought I literally wouldn't write a song ever again. And then um, um, that song kind of helped me out of that. Yeah. And I wrote that, and I was like, oh no, this is actually fine. I can do this. That's the good thing about breakups and sad things. Yeah. See, a lot of time you can <laughs> so make a happy. good song out of yeah, it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, which of the songs do you find gets the best reception? Um, Collision Course. I was gonna, again, I was gonna say that. Was yeah, hide it, hide it. I didn't hear it on purpose when you were <laughs> <laughs> I got this, like, um, like, when I did my EP launch, I um, got this, like, live video that somebody took, and it's me on stage, and I go, oh, this song's called Collision Course, and you just hear it, I go, woo! Everyone's silent, it's an idea, like we did it, glass in the air, like, yeah! <laughs> it's well good. That sounds very like it. <laughs> It is a good song. I felt Thank like I was <laughs> getting sucked in and going into that other place with that one. Yeah, I it hope was that other place is nice. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to pass it to the audience. Who's got a question for Toria? Come on. Everyone's being a bit shy tonight. What's going on? Clearly, not enough drinks, are you? There we go. One, one, two. Oh, it's Peter here. I'll do. <laughs> I'm wondering, um, at the moment I have a blues record from me, Stepdad, yes. I have to listen to every day and I've heard every song on it and I'm sick to death of it. So where would I find your music so that I'd be able to listen <laughs> oh, to some of oh, <laughs> um, um, It's on Spotify and um, Instagram and all that. Um, but I do, I've, so I've got an EP called Draco out at the moment and in a couple of months time I'm releasing like a new one. 
Thank you, that's well nice. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the passive mark at the front. It's like the talking stick. <laughs> Hello, do you have any songs that you annoyingly wish that you wrote? Oh my god, so many. So and many. similarly, are there any artists that you wish you could write like? Or when, or have you heard any artists where you are inspired by their style but not entirely sure how they write the way they do? Um, America by Paul and Simon is, I think, one of the greatest songs ever. And I'd love to have written that, like, so much. Then I also think I'd like to write a Christmas song for the royalties, but... Do it! <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Um, there's like, I'd love to be able to write like, this is gonna sound so stupid, but I love Alice Cooper. Oh, like, Alice I love Cooper's Alice name. Cooper so much. And he's like, he's just got it. He's yeah. got it so like, like everything he writes, like from like mid sixties to like to now, he's been through every kind of genre, and he's like, he's he's just done it all. And yeah. And it's all like to the T and perfect, and I just I can't even get out of full. Like, <laughs> Have you seen him live? I missed out because at download everyone wanted to watch just go down and stuff it's and incredible. I was well gutted. I went for my first, I think it was I was 12 or 13 and something like that, went with my mum and dad and out here and he spat on me and I cried, I was out, out, out of <laughs> joy. So I'm outside amazing. and I'm like weeping, I'm like the security, this 12 year old girl's weeping outside and the security guard's like, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, he's spat on me and he's like, who's spat on you, he's spat on you and I'm like, oh, it's cute and he's like, oh, <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, do we have one more question? I've got one. Oh, oh. How much do you uh, practice or um, practice your guitar or music? Music, um, um, music uh, uh, structure? I don't really. Practice. Going forward, I mean, you've got an amazing voice. Thank you. you. I mean, how old are you? I don't know. How... I, I just turned 22. Yeah, you are, 22, and you're amazing at artistic. When Thank I was 22, so there wasn't many people like you around. Maybe a Jody Mitchell. <laughs> but um, I'm just wondering where, where you think you'll be in 10 years' time. Um, where I think I'd be is probably very different to where I hope I'd be. Uh, and I've no idea. I mean, if I'm, I'm, if I'm still just able to play and, and just knocking about and playing gigs and stuff like that, that would be, be perfect. I mean, I know I'd, I'd love to be playing stadiums and things like that, but it's just not, just not going to happen. So. Yeah. Yeah. It could potentially happen. I'd be happy just milling about Manchester. I'll just be milling about. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> All right, I think, well, this question has already been answered, but if you want to tell everyone again where we can find you online and stuff. Um, so just on everything, really, Instagram, Spotify, Facebook, um, Twitter. I'm really bad on Twitter, though. I just kind of ran. <laughs> but also, it's worth noting that my last name is W-O-O-F. <laughs> it's a bit of an awkward spelling. I didn't even know. It's your real second name. <laughs> That looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awesome second name. All right, and uh, when's your next gig? Um, I have some with um, I have like a little band, and we're playing on the twenty. The, oh no, it's sorry. No, oh my god, when is it? The twenty eighth and the thirtieth at Whiskey Jar. It's like a whiskey festival, so if you like your whiskey. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, everybody, give it up one more time. Victoria Wolf. <laughs>